Good Monday makers, it's time to check out some more community builds and as always we've got some really great ones with some cool techniques and clever solutions. Let's jump right in and check them out. First up is this build from Sean. He recently shared this, said he made it for his family. They have a beautiful area looks like back here. They've got this pool. Looks like the whole backyard or the whole pool area at least is enclosed and Sean built this projector screen frame for his family to sit in the pool or he said if they're barbecue and whatever they can sit outside and they can watch a movie which is really awesome. I love movies and some place like this to be able to enjoy a movie at home is really awesome. And he built the frame using EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors. As you can see here, it looks like just a few T connectors and basically just you know adjusted the dimensions to pull the projector screen uh, tight. And he did that using ball bungees as well. So he built the framework to kind of sit on the outskirts of the projector screen and it said it was 150 inch which is a pretty large projector screen and uh, then he used you know you can see the, the grommets around the outside of the frame he used ball bungees to just pull those tight and secure them to the frame you could also use zip ties or something else if you want but I think those ball bungees as inexpensive as they are they work really well and they're removable and they don't look all that bad compared to like zip ties or something like that so I think there's a, they're a great solution to keep in mind if you've got a material with grommets or something like that that you're trying to secure to a frame. But it looks like a really beautiful area to relax and watch a movie and a nice and simple build to get the job done and be able to watch movies outside. So thanks so much, Sean, for sharing that. Really cool to see. Next up is a build from Andrew Henry, and this is really cool. He's done a lot of builds in the past for his shop that he has, and Dave actually did an interview with him, and they talked about his shop builds. But now this looks like a personal build that he's got going on. And he built this frame to support his amp setup here. I would imagine you'd want to have a smallest footprint as possible when you've got equipment on stage. And you can see that he's basically stacking this setup here by building this maker pipe and conduit frame. And he just used a really simple design, which is using 90 degree connectors in the corners. We talk about 90s a lot because they're great for making rectangles or cubes and things like that. And basically this, by using eight of them in you know one in each corner, you can create a cube and you could make it larger and do like an enclosure or a trellis frame if you're gardening or you can make a desk or a shelving unit just customizing those dimensions between the 90s here but he's using it in this scenario as a stand for his amp setup and you can see that he used t connectors to add some bars that run from front to back uh, and those just support the amps and it looks like a really awesome setup and a really uh, great build nice and simple but just solves the problem of reducing that footprint and keeping everything nice and organized there. So thanks so much for sharing that. Great build. Next up is a build from MAN, and this was a review left on the adjustable angle connector. Didn't really share a ton of details about this, but I think it is a beach cart because it has those classic wheels that you see on a lot of those like beach wagons and things. And it looks like just a custom cart that they made to be able to haul different things around. And they kind of customized the frame based on what they were moving around. So you can see here, Looks like they have some kind of a polycarbonate cutting board or something like that here on the bottom. And there's just a place for a bag. And there's an angled pipe here that kind of supports this uh, chair. And it kind of just tilts back and looks like secures to the frame using uh, some kind of maybe bungee or some other mount maybe to kind of clamp around the, the bar of the, of the chair there. In the front, looks like they've got this arm that supports this yoga mat or maybe that's some kind of a blanket or something if you're going out to the beach. You know, it's always nice to have a, a blanket or a towel spread out if you can have a picnic or just relax on the beach. And yeah, yeah, it's just a really great cart, nice and compact, but kind of custom to what you need to haul. And it's really great to see. So thanks so much for posting that really awesome build. Next up is a project from Lucas, and this is a great light that he built. This was made to basically illuminate his workbench. You know, you're working on your desk or your workbench and you need as much light as possible when you're cutting things and measuring. And so he built this and it's a really great light. It's really unique. Looks like he bent some conduit and kind of in this, I don't know if it's really an arch per se, because it looks like it just has a flat part at the top and then maybe like a 30 degree bend or something that goes down on each side. And he basically just bent that same bar twice. It kind of looks like handlebars. But he bent that same bar twice and then connected them with T-connectors. And then to secure the lights, I thought this was really cool. He used some of the conduit crossover clamps that we have. And those are basically just pulling these LED light bars to the frame and securing them in place there. And it looks like a really great solution and just adds some more kind of character to it, I think. I think this looks just really awesome, really industrial look to it. And I think it looks like a piece of artwork almost. And a really great build. You can see he mounted the 
uh, the LED, uh, what is the thing, what are those things called, ballast maybe, to the framework here. And uh, yeah, it just looks like a really great solution all around. And it's got chains that hang down here. It looks like using, oh, the chains just hook on to the crossover clamp here. And then he's got that secured to the ceiling in some way. And it's just mounted there and then adds this awesome light, plenty of light there shining down on whatever you're working on on this workbench. So really great. Thanks so much for sharing that awesome build and uh, looks like a great light that you can use around your shop. So appreciate you posting it. Next up is a build from Two Tool Designs on Instagram. And this is really awesome. You might remember a while back, he built something for his shop. He has this shipping container workshop that is just super cool. And he built a canopy a while back that was really awesome and you know protected the front of his shop from the sun and kind of cooled down the interior of his shop because it's a metal shipping container. And now he's back again with another project. Here he's got it mini modeled. And then here it is up on the side of the shop. And this is a solar panel awning that he made using conduit and maker pipe. And it's really cool. There's a, a few different things that are really interesting about this. Let's just watch this video and we'll talk about them. First off, you can see here, he used adjustable angle connectors to make this angled so it's facing the sun when the sun's on this side of the shop. And that, you know, takes advantage of the sun and allows him to get plenty of hours of sunshine on it to get the, the energy from. And the way he mounted the solar panels was using these conduit hanger straps. And he just drilled through the uh, side of the solar panel here or through the back bar. As you can see, it's just a little flat, thin piece of metal that kind of just goes up around the solar panel. It's made so you can mount it to stuff. And he's using the conduit hanger straps and he just added a bolt or maybe a, a screw through there. And then he just slides the solar panel up on the frame. And another thing you can see here is he used crossover clamps, which is a really great technique. If you need to add some strong bracing and you don't want to break up the spans that you're working with, you can cross over the pipes and keep them one solid piece, but cross them over and you know clamp them together using that crossover clamp. And it's a good way to add bracing like this. And the, the bars that go from side to side are holding up the frame. And that's what the, the conduit hanger strap will just secure around this pipe here. And you can see he's by himself <laughs> trying to get these up there. I can imagine that's fun. Uh, as you can see there, maybe struggling a little bit, but I mean, you're by yourself and you're moving stuff up high, but it looks like he's got it in place now and he's got those straps around the conduit. He just kind of squeezed the metal there and then used the bolt that comes with him to secure him in place. And then here it is in place on his shop. And what's cool about this is it also not only utilizes the sun to add, you know, sustainable power source to his shop, but it also acts as a shade as well because it's blocking the sun from this angle. And he's also, you know, hung a sunshade off of it to protect his plants down here. So it's kind of solving a few different problems at once, which is always really cool to see. So thanks so much for sharing that. And thanks everybody for posting your projects. If you want to see any of these in more detail, there'll be a link down below. We appreciate you posting them as always. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.